Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about validations. Now these are pretty important because we can add them in serializers. So if I jump onto the documentation part, here you have your API guide, click on serializers and here you will have validation option. Once you jump here, you will realize there are three types of validation. The first one is field level, the second one is object level and then the third one is validators. So we are going to talk about each one of them step by step. Here we are going to use validations in our serializer.py and these validation will be called whenever we are going to use them in views whenever we call this serializer.is underscore valid. So that means I can add them here. The next thing is when I talk about field level validation that means I am only checking a particular field. So maybe I am checking my field for any duplicate word. So if I talk about this name field and if I add a field level validation, that means maybe I am checking its length or maybe any other condition according to me. But that means I'm only checking this one field. Now what is object level validation? So when we have a complete object, maybe if I talk about here, we usually get multiple objects here. If I talk about a single object, maybe I want to check movie name as well as description. Both should be different and should not be same. So I can just add a validation on the complete object stating that a movie name should not be equals to this description. Now what is validator? So we can add a validator in our current field in any field and mention here. I think it's confusing, right? Let's do step by step to understand each one of them. So the first thing I'm going to do is field level validator. All we have to do is define a function. I should call it as method. I need to use validate underscore and whatever the field we are going to target. So I need to use field name. That's it. And then I need to specify a condition and then I need to return a response. So let me try it here. Now here I'm going to define my first validation. So that means I'm going to define a validation for my specific field. Let's take about our name field. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the current value, current length of our name field. So if this is less than 30, then it's okay. Otherwise we are going to raise some exception. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method and I'm going to call it as validate underscore now you need to give the field name. So I'm going to call it as name. Now it is going to take self as well as we need to use value. Now this value is going to contain the value of this particular name. Remember this. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to access the value of my name and then I can do anything. So maybe I need to check condition if a uh, length of my value is less than maybe two for now let's take two if this is the case i can raise an exception i can return a response in the form of exception or i can simply raise a exception in the form of serializer start validation error so all i have to do is use serializer and here we have validation error and i can just pass a string name is too short that's it so if this is the case, we are going to have this type of error. Otherwise, we are going to have a else condition that just return the value. That's it. So I'm going to return the value as it is. So this is going to be our first case in which we are going to check everything. Remember, this is field level validation. So if I jump here and if I try to add a new item in our current list, so here this is my list refresh this one this is working fine and currently we only have one item so i should add multiple items remove this id and here i am going to add a new movie and let me call this movie as i'm going to call php the old king and here let me have some description randomly now if i'm going to call this uh, this should work fine. I should get my value as it is because my condition for validation is uh, the length of my title which is my name should be less than 2. So here if I submit this one 
everything is working fine i have a proper list but let me try to add a new element let me try to add a new element let me remove this id and instead of my proper name let me try to add name as j that's it if i try to submit this one you can see i got an error that my name is too short so that's how our validation works now this was field level validation that means i was testing i was checking a particular field let me add a object level validation that means when we submit this whole object when we submit any list when we submit a complete object i should compare multiple elements maybe i want to check if name and description are different or not if they are both are same i should return a error that they both cannot be same description should not be same as my name so here let me add a object level validation i'm going to use my method and here i'm going to call validate that means i'm going to apply to complete object and inside this i need to take self as well as data remember you take these values carefully because these values are defined in the documentation itself so here we get the value to validate our title here we get the data to validate our current object let me jump back here now once i have access to my data let me check both title as well as description so if my complete data and here if my title is equals to equals to here i need to check for description if my title is equals to description i should raise a validation error that this cannot happen that means uh, they should not be same or title should not be equals to description or description and title should not be same something like this that's it if this is not the case what i can do is i can add a else condition and just return my data also i don't need to add this else condition i can directly return my value if this is the case otherwise it is going to just jump onto this line eventually so even if i don't add a else condition i should just take care if this is the case i'm going to get inside this if condition otherwise i'm going to directly return my value i hope you got the idea so we have added a object level validation here now if i jump here try to add a new element so let me copy refresh this one paste it here i don't need to add a id here and let me try to create some error so what i am going to do is i am going to give description as well as description exactly the same send a post request okay i did a quick mistake instead of title i need to use name refresh this one again copy my id remove this one let me give same name as well as description if i send a post request you can see title and description should be different so that's how we are going to work and the important thing is you need to understand both of them because there are chances that at certain position you need to validate a single field or there are chances that at certain position you need to validate complete object now let's talk about the third one which is going to be validator now validator is actually a core argument that we need to pass to our current fields so here if you jump onto this validators you see we pass this validator specifically in our serializer value itself now here if i need to add a field level uh, validation to our name i can do that with the help of validators so let me mute this one that means let me comment this one now instead of this validation i am going to add validator here i need to use validator you can see we have this type of validator this is our core argument we will be talking about this exactly in the next lecture again so we have our own validator now i need to define a function if you see they have defined a function as multiple of 10 and then this function do everything we are going to do something similar what i am going to do is i am going to name this as name underscore length once that is done i can define this function separately so i am going to take this name underscore length 
and all I have to do is I have access to the current value and then I can define the same condition like we did earlier. So you can copy this one and let me paste it here. So also let me uncomment this one. Make sure you take care about the indentation. So we have this function, we have name length now, which is exactly the same. Then we have self, then we have access to value. We have our if condition. If this if condition is not matched, we are going to raise this exception or I should say validation error. That's it. And this looks fine. Let me jump here again. I hope you got the idea what we recently did. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new element here. So let me jump onto my list and let me add a new element. Remove this ID and I'm going to call this element. That means a new movie, maybe J only for right now to get this error. If I send a post request. Okay, we have some issue with our name length and that is about this self. Since this is not inside our class, so we don't have access to this self. Okay. That's fine. Let me remove the self, jump back here, refresh this one. And let me copy this one right now, paste it here, remove this one again. And let me add J. If I post this one right now, you can see we got our error, which is name is too short. Let me refresh this one, try to add it again. And this time let me add it properly. So I'm going to add a new movie and let me call this movie as Kings of Python. So this is the movie. Let me paste this one. That means let me create a post request. This worked fine. Go to my list. Okay. This is working fine. So I hope you got the understanding about these validators. So we have three type of validations. The first one is this field level. The second one is this object level. And then we have these validators. So that's it. That's the important point that you need to understand. If you want to read about them, I strongly recommend go to API guide, click on serializer, and then here you will have validation. That's all for this lecture. In the next lecture, let us continue our journey and talk about different type of fields that we currently have with these. So we have different fields with serializer. So these are the field and these are our core arguments. So in the next lecture, let us talk about them. I hope this lecture was helpful. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.